Okay, whenever you're ready. 50% of marriages are unsuccessful. Imagine how many children are affected by this high divorce rate. Today, I would like to explain the negative impact divorce has on children. According to the effect of divorce on America by Patrick Sagan, every, over every million American children suffer the divorce of their parents. Most of the emotions caused by separation will last the child through adulthood. Some changes the child may have affected after a divorce are behavior and health problems. They are more aggressive, they normally have lower self-esteem and suffer from depression. These symptoms cause the child to have a hard time getting along with friends and family members. It makes it challenging to form intimate relationships and be a more independent individual in the future. Some effects of divorce on children's academic achievements are poor test scores, poor test scores and higher dropout rates. These results have been a consistent study of Dr. Robert Hughes, who believes that teachers and parents often underestimate the difficulties a child might be having in school or may not even recognize any differences at all. In some cases, it appears that children's difficulties with some schoolwork may be caused by their behavior rather than their intellectual abilities. The pattern may be somewhat different for boys. <coughs> boys tend to be more aggressive in certain situations and girls are more likely to experience depression. Both of these symptoms interfere with child's ability to concentrate on schoolwork. Boys and girls do tend to respond to divorce a little different like previously stated, but both involve themselves with deviant peers and engaging early sexual behaviors. But on the bright side, there are some girls who quickly recover the separation, and it seems as though the increased responsibilities and all the challenges they face uh, build a stronger and warmer relationship with their mothers. This outcome does not occur for boys. It's more difficult for boys to overcome the situation, but studies show that more and more fathers are wanting to be in the lives of their children, which helps uh, to redirect boys and make them focus on things of importance. The impact of divorce may vary depending on age of the child. Children younger than two years of age do not change very drastically because both parents can stay actively involved or one parent can maintain a strong relationship with that child. Children ages three to five tend to be fearful or confused as to why mom or dad has left. They also might return to security blanket or old to toys. Preschoolers may feel confused and withdraw themselves. They become less imag imaginative and play it alone. They try and seek attention from adults and they don't understand everything that's going on in the divorce. Um, children six to eight years of age have some understanding of what it means. They always want the absent parent to be around and with their better sense, they are able to deal. 9 to 12 year olds try to understand the divorce and keep their behavior under control. While they may have feelings of loss, these children actively involve themselves in play and activities to manage their feelings. Anger is the most intense emotion felt by this group. This group of children normally chooses one parent over the other. Adolescents seem to be more quickly matured after a divorce. They appreciate things like money and friendship. This group is rushed into adulthood without a transition that other children have. They may even feel they are in competition with their parents when they see them going on dates and becoming romantically involved. Sometimes these teens have doubts about their own ability to get married or stay married. Can you get the word, please? Okay, so here's the transparency, um, how like different families are between divorced and married. The dark shade is divorced and the lighter shade is married. Uh, these are all negative impacts that a child may be going through. Uh, the last two, you see that the married parents have like a higher percentage and it's only because the children in those situations felt like they were the center of their family and um, they, like there was, 
they weren't affected by anything, you know, like they were always the center of it. So, um, parents need to remember that divorce is stressful for children. Children's behavior may change, but it should be understandable considering the changes taking place. So it is important to find ways to support children from broken families. All right, Seabass, what did you think? Oh, my God, where do I begin? Oh, no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was a, I thought it was a really good speech. I thought you had a lot of information in there. You know, you cited things really well. Um, <coughs> I thought at first it was a little bit hard to follow, but then I started picking it up more because you started separating it a little bit better. Just in the beginning, kind of seeing you come a lot of that. But then you cleared it out, like you spaced it out better. And then, um, the visual aid was a little bit hard to see, but you really, you actually like saved it really well when you kind of talked about it. I don't know, you said that, I don't know, you clearly, you clearly stated what was in there, so I think that helped the visual aid and made it more of a positive than a negative. And that was really so overall, it was a really good speech. <laughs> uh, the topic's clear, and you've got a very clear thesis statement. I didn't really get much of a preview or setup of the structure of the speech, and in the body of the speech, I was having a hard time keeping track of how information was being structured, except in the one section where you do go through kind of like the chronological progression of the effects of kids at different ages. That's pretty easy to follow that structure, but the rest of it I didn't think was as clearly organized, and, the, and as a result, the transitions uh, were not as smooth as they could be. It sounded uh, at the beginning like you were going to be consistent in citing your information, but later on, I'm not sure where all of that data came from. You start describing the behavior of children in different age groups, and I'm wondering, okay, now does that come from the citation that you gave earlier, or is there some additional research that's going on here? Um, and I didn't really get any citations on that information. The visual aid seems a little kind of perfunctory. It's, I've got to have a visual aid, so here's a bar chart. I, it's a little hard to see because it's, you need to push it out further to make it bigger or you need to blow it up before you put it on the transparency because uh, you've got like eight or nine items that you're ranking there and what is it that you want us to focus on? What should we see? The colors are okay because you know that's in the original uh, on the bar chart but I think if you could have added something to it to draw attention to the the two or three that you actually talk about extensively, that would make more sense. And maybe even edit out the ones that you aren't going to make reference to uh, and talk about how important they are. I thought there was a little too much reading, but it was easy to hear you. Uh, you, you looked uh, relatively comfortable while you were speaking. Um, you know, so there, there, you've got a, a good introduction. The body of the speech needs to be structured a little bit more, need a few more citations, and I think the visual could be used a little bit more effectively, but it was okay. All right, thank you.